my channel. You already know it's your girl N I J A H, and I'm back with another video. So if you wonder what today's video is, it's gonna be a little hygiene 101. I know I have a lot of young followers, a lot of older followers, but at the end of the day, hygiene is the number one thing. So I just wanna share some of the things that I use to make sure I smell good. So um I just got the tub and stuff. I'm feeling clean, feeling very refreshed. You know, I just need another skincare. You know, you see the little glow, as you see. And if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go watch it. Go watch the video. And make sure you subscribe. I'm going to give y'all a little time. I'm a little, little mama sign. Just for, so y'all can, you know, go subscribe. Okay. So... The first thing is that I use, I use this wonderful soap and it is called Yardly, Yardly Oatmeal and Almond Soap. It helps soothe the skin, soothe dry skin and gently exfoliates with natural oatmeal. It looks just like this. You can get a pack of like six or eight at Walmart. So. I just lather it all up over my body. It lathers so good, y'all. When I tell y'all, it lathers so good. It makes sure that you get clean. Use soap and water, ladies. Soap and water with a good, good towel or a cloth. I also use nighttime baby baths. I love baby products, y'all. I know it's for babies, but I like it. It works really good. It smells really good. And who don't want to smell like a newborn baby when they get out the shower or the tub? So, y'all go cop this. It was like 2 $3. And it lasts, like, I've had this for a very long time. At least five months at the most. I just don't use it like crazy. But, you know, I'm, it's right here. So, I will have to re-up in the round. I also use the baby lotion. Yeah, it's the off-brand Equate. Because, baby, I'm not about to jump to Justin. But, anyway, the baby lotion, it smells so good as usual. And I didn't put any on, so let me put some on. Because I can't be doing this video ashy. It makes your skin just so soft. And it just makes you feel so much more clean. Like, you always have to much moisturize your skin when you get out the tub. Because, Washing up dries your skin out, and you have to have something that keeps that moisture in. Or girl, or man, boy, your skin is gonna be horrible. I just rub it all on me and stuff like that. Make sure I get, you know, all the places that I know needs to be moisturized. Um, now I know y'all might be like, girl, you don't supposed to use this. It knocks off your pH. Is y'all be this thing, <laughs> all right? So, I've been using this Femini wash. So, a lot of y'all might be like, No, you don't need to use it, knock off your pH balance. But I use it, I mean, it don't knock me off. I don't think that I've seen any difference in the way my vagina is. Disclaimer this is might not be for a kids video because I am going to go a little more in detail about your hygiene. So, if you know you underage, just click off the video. But if you want to learn and more about yourself and your body, do this. But anyway, you don't pour the whole bottle down there in your your vagina. Okay, you just put a little bit on the cloth and just wipe front to back, back to front. And get it all out of there. Um, other than that, that's really all that I use. Soap and all that. Um, well, yeah, I have some, um perfume now when i do get out the tub i do spray like this some uh bath and body works water melon lemonade um thing i just do a little and keep it going you don't and this smells amazing y'all should go get this but it doesn't take ugh, that is strong it's strong too it don't take much to be able to keep a good hygiene because no boy, no man, no woman gonna want somebody that smells bad. And if I smell bad, my friends need to tell me. You know, you don't have friends that's always gonna sit up here and be like, okay, 
Bob, Rihanna, you need to go take a bath. But I'm different, you know. I'm very transparent and open with you guys. So, I'm just the messenger, okay? I'm just the messenger. If y'all ain't taking a bath for once a day, you need to go take another one. Go get in the bathtub or the shower or do something to clean up your body because my mom always told me if you don't keep your stuff clean bugs grown and it helped me as a child because it's like I don't want bugs to be on me <laughs> that's nasty so anyway make sure you keep yourself clean I also use summer eve spray sometimes but I'm really trying to lean me off that because it does give me yeast infections and bacteria infections and nobody likes them Lord this cap is like really really on my head anyway it gives me yeast infections and bacteria infections like don't if you do use summer ease which i do love summer ease do not just spray it all in your in your private area just spray a little bit like a on your panties it keeps you smelling good you know especially during your cycle ladies it's good to have that handy. I wish I could find it in time so I could show y'all. But anyway, it's summer ease spray. And you just spray a little bit. And it keeps you smelling wonderful all day. And with um, the cycle and stuff, you know, whether you take a bath or not, period blood smells bad. You know, it does. And it's hard keeping that good smell on your cycle. So I do spray a little bit. But sometimes I get a little crazy. And then a couple days later yeast infection boom and it is yeast infection sucks y'all I, I can't i can't do yeast infections so yeah i do use that that is good products to be able to use on your vaginal area and um i need one more oh i'm just dropping all of my products y'all excuse me okay um brush your teeth okay brush your teeth because you know i have a lot of people in my life and their breath don't smell that good okay and i just don't be wanting to be rude to them and let them know your breath stinks but you have to brush your teeth at least three times a day i mean sometimes i get lazy and i don't be feeling like brushing my teeth but i have to because you get cavities and when them cavities come baby your breath be on fire like no help so i always lose my top to my toothpaste, uh, disregard that. But um, I use Crest, a complete deep cleaning, up to two times deeper cleaning feeling. And it cleans you and helps your enamel and all that. Use this because, or any other toothpaste, as long as you're using something, use something. Because no boy, no man, no girl wants a person with a stanky breath. Like when you come talking to me, you need to be able to have some good smelling breath. I don't want to smell that food from five years ago. Stop. No man, no sir. Yuck. No. And then they just be feeling like they breath don't stink. And they just be talk to talk to talk to talk. And it's just like, no. So make sure you brush your teeth three times a day and floss. Because if you don't floss, like I have a cavity now and I hate it so bad. I'm waiting on my um, dentist appointment so I can get it fixed because it, it's just just not cute. And then all my food goes in there and it's just not cute, ladies. No, not cute, gents. Not cute. So, yes. Hygiene. You need to go get a checkup, y'all. I mean, you know, I know it's young ladies that don't know much about their bodies. And I'm 21 and I'm still learning about my body. I don't know everything about my body. I don't have a mama that's really just t telling me about my body when I was growing up. But you need to go get a checkup. You have to get pap smears. If you guys don't know what that is and you're too young to know, when your time comes, when you get of age, make sure you go get a pap smear. Make sure you get checkups. Make sure you're good down there. Because your vagina is your pride and your joy. You have to make sure it's good and working right. Because if you don't, you will see a lot of discharge, a lot of bad stuff. And ladies, discharge is normal. Sometimes when your period's gonna come on or go off or something, I forgot. Um, it'll have like brown stuff, like brown stuff, that's old blood. 
I don't recommend douching, but my mama used to tell me to douche like once every other month, you know, not consecutively because that will mess you up down there. But I do um, douche from time to time because it cleans up out all the stuff, like all the old blood and stuff. Because when your period finna go off or something like that, or finna come on, it gets brown and stuff. Cause you know when blood is old, it gets brown. So, you know, get a checkup, make sure you're good, make sure you don't have no diseases, no STDs, because that's not cute. As a lady, as a young man, you have to keep yourself good. For my men, for my little boys or whatever, make sure you wash under your, <clears throat> your gentle, gentle clothes, whatever, you know, you, you know. Yeah, wash under there because it carries a lot of funk, okay? Now, no woman wants to be able to go down there on you and smell that. You have to be able to keep yourself up like I said. Um, wash it right. Wash under your, you know, make sure it smells good. You know, after a long day of working or going to school, you know, men sweat. Men sweat more than women. Some may be different. But make sure you keep yourself good. And that's my little hygiene 101, y'all. I hope you guys learned a lot of stuff and use some of the products that I use. I really cop this soap and use a good stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's time for the video to eat. Yeah, guys, I had a little technical difficulty. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps you. I hope that, you know, you actually learned a lot from this video. So, before I leave, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Tell me what you guys want to know, what you want to see. I'm here for all the good, you know, constructive criticism. So, it's your girl. I'm out. From the edge of happen, you know I ain't come, boy. If you had to ask me, freak.